In July, we saw a $13,000 drop in median home values. Values went from $478,000 to $465,000. And it's continued to drop in August. We saw another $15,000 drop going from $465,000 to $450,000. July is the first month in over 32 months that we have seen a drop in median home values. We're seeing increased times on the market. We're seeing large, more supply of homes. And what does all this mean? Well, that's what we're gonna go over in this video coming right up. Hi, I'm Adam Hopkins and welcome to Living in Las Vegas. This channel is all about Las Vegas and Las Vegas real estate market. So if that's of interest to you, you know what to do right below. Let's get into the market report. We have the highest number of cancellation of escrows in the nation at 27% of escrows failed to close. That's a pretty shocking number. Uh, it's not a number we wanna lead in the country. New home build contracts have dropped 61.5%. We're seeing longer times for homes to get sold. Heck, just a couple of months, it took seven days or less to sell your home. On average right now, it's at 17. So the trend is it's taking longer, there are more homes on the market, which means buyers have more options to choose from, and it's taking longer to sell you their home. However, 17 days isn't something to panic about. Some markets are 60 days or more. 17 days is still a pretty quick turnaround for a market. We're still up over last year, so that's a positive piece of news there. We're about 14% higher than we were same time last year. So even though we have a downward trend and we're losing, well, we've lost about $30,000 on the market since its turn, but overall we're still up 14%, which is about three times higher than the normal increase of the marketplace in a normal year. So that's still really, really strong. Most times we'd be like, oh, 14% growth in a year. That's tremendous. Well, it is, but the short-term trend kind of negates that in that it's heading in the wrong direction. How much do we have to worry about the market? Here's the thing. The market is always good for someone. For quite some time now, the market has been extremely good if you're selling the house. Well, the shoe is now on the other foot and it's now really good for the buyer. It's moving in that direction. They're enjoying a lot more negotiating power and they're able, you know, just a couple months ago, you had to waive the appraisal, you had to come in with tens of thousands of dollars above your deposit, and then you still got beat out. Well, right now, you're able to get a discount on the home and you're getting closing costs, and so it's much less expensive out of your pocket to buy a home right now, which is fantastic for the buyers, and we're continuing to see that trend of the dropping values, which is also in your guys' favor, so that is where the market stands right now. Now, if you're a seller, don't panic here. We're not going to see 2008 where all your equity is just gonna disappear. It's a very different situation from 2008 than it is in 2022. This slowdown is a correction placed by the feds by increasing the interest rates. We had a very, very low, unbelievably historically low interest rate. And right now we're in the sixes and it's on its way up. If you need to buy a home, you are in a great position to buy a home. You're in much more valuable to the marketplace than you were just a few months ago. And don't hesitate to get a good agent to help you do that. If I'm that agent for you, well, set an appointment with me down below. Let's get together and, and make that happen. So if you're a seller, you know, and you're thinking you need to sell right now is the time to sell. Sell now. The longer you wait, the less money that you're gonna get for your home right now. And we don't know anything that happens beyond today is speculation, which I will go into the realm of speculation. I'll tell you what I think is gonna happen in the market. But if you're gonna sell, sell now. The closer you get to the holidays, the more it's gonna slow down. The buyers that are gonna be out there buying. And so selling your house now would be the most advisable thing to do. Typically what you see in a market cycle it has been for the last, I don't know, decade or so. The housing market goes up in the spring, kind of inches upward during the summer, and then decreases down by the holiday season. And then we see that pattern. It's been pretty much following suit for a long time. 2017 was one of the few exceptions. It was also a really hot market. It did slow down during the holidays right around August, which is what this market kind of has done. And then it slowed down, slowed down. The market's values dropped down to the holidays. and 
in the spring where I expected it to stay up, it actually continued to drop down for some time. So it wasn't like drastic like we're, we're kind of seeing right now, but that trend could happen. So it's something we got to watch. And that's why I do these market reports at least once a month. So be sure to subscribe if you want to stay on top of where the market's going what you should do right now if you're thinking of selling sell now the good thing is is that although the price has dropped the number of listings have also dropped so we're not seeing a rush to sell homes right now which would flood the market which was is what we saw in 2008 we went from like 4,000 homes on the market to 60,000 homes on the market in like 30 days so it was just like everyone's panic selling and the market just went like a cliff we're not going to see that i don't believe so we'll go into the area of speculation here. I think we're gonna to continue to see dropping values. I think it'll slow down, won't drop as drastically here. I could, e I could easily see a scenario where it continues dropping at $15,000 a month as well. So that's possible. I sometimes think markets drop faster than they rise up. That depends on what the feds do with interest rates and stuff like that. But it historically, December is the best month to buy a house. Now, I think that will kind of flatten out and I think we'll see a slight increase. I think it will really level off. And of course that depends if the feds have to drop interest rates to stimulate things because it's going too far the other way, then we could see it be a little more aggressive. But I think that we're gonna kinda, the feds are gonna just kinda slowly inch it up and try to maintain where it's at. That's my guess. So that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. Give me what you think is gonna happen in the mark in the comments below. Do you think we're gonna have a crazy 2008 type of collapse? Do you think we're gonna see, continue to see it slowly, gradually dropping and finding some middle ground where people can afford the home. I wanna hear from you below. That's pretty much what I got for today, so be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna be notified for each video we do, but at least give me a thumbs up so you know YouTube knows that this is a good video and should share it. So, catch you on my other videos. Thanks for watching.